Okay, quick question. I've been noticing that the um, turbo fans that have been come out lately from these uh, different companies that the uh, blades of the fan itself have kind of a shape that kind of comes out like this on the GE one or otherwise there's the new Rolls Royce which kind of sweeps back and here's the direction of rotation like this the big question for me is <coughs> so on and so forth. Anyhow, <coughs> all right, it goes round and round, and I can see the logic of that in terms of it's a little bit like the same logic by which you would design an aircraft with swept wings, because swept wings are more aerodynamic. Um, however, I have another thought about how to do this. And I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm not really planning on getting into the business of designing turbo fans. So, but if I were to get into the business of designing turbo fans, then I would design them like this. point is, if you have the blade coming in like a sickle, what that does is centrifugal force, as the blades act upon the air, centrifugal force has a tendency to want to uh, cause the air, the fluid in this case air, to move radially outward to some extent um, or to be more accurate about like that the thing is what this is supposed to do is counteract that centrifugal force and convert it into linear motion for the fluid straight back. Can you see how this would happen? Because let's just say the back of it is pointed towards you. Okay, here's a fan blade and it's coming along like this.
as the air wants to move outward it is stopped by the blade and instead it glides off the blade in a perfect linear pattern provided it is a properly designed blade so anyway those are my thoughts on jet engine design for the day okay now I can hear the critics already Now, I can hear the critics already, and what they're saying is, yeah, but if you have the blade with the tip forward, the aerodynamic effects will cause oscillations in the tips of the blades, and the blades will get all wonky on you. Well, yes. That will probably happen unless you either have some sort of a special feature to the design of each blade or you attach them all to a ring which is there to connect the tips of all the blades and make them so that they are structurally sound by all being attached to a piece which will keep them all as one piece for one thing structurally and it, it will also um, uh, it will prevent the blade tips from pivoting because of aerodynamic effects and uh, causing oscillations. So that's the key. Have a ring connecting them all on the outside. Take that GE and Rolls-Royce. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Yes. Take that. Pratt and Whitney, take that Westinghouse, yeah, yeah, take that, Garrett, take that, whoever you are in Czechoslovakia, and the Chinese, oh yes, Just remember, the royalty goes to Gunnar Hansen. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.